Tapling tutorial how to use tapling for beginners hey guys welcome back in this video i am giving you a tutorial on tapling how to create a mobile friendly website in a few clicks so let's get into it first of all what you need to do is you're going to go to taplink.at and you will get right here on this website now the website is pretty simple looking and you can see right here it shows us the information we will be able to generate leads and create a link for our bio so to get started it's really easy you just have to enter your email address click on get started for free and you'll get a basic plan for taplink and get to the main dashboard so after the initial sign up or sign into your taplink this is where you will land this will allow you to create your own basic landing page for your social media for your any other you know platform and you'll be able to create a website in no time so uh, on our top link you can see we have our pages so this is like the basic link page that we can create we can create a light website or we can use a template then once you create a page we can actually check out these stats we can check out the leads, we can design a page or a website, we can, you know, customize it, we can add ons, and then we have settings. So the basic thing is going to be creating a landing page. Now I can get started with an empty template or I can use one from here. You can see we have different templates available. All of these look pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one right here. Select the template and you can see here I will get my name multiple links to a page about me we can create my blog page online store and more so i'm going to click on choose okay now the next step is going to be modifying our template so all we need to do is just select the block you can see to edit a block just click on it you can change the places of the blocks to do this drag the block you need click on add block and you will be able to add it now let's start editing first i want to edit the picture Click on the blog and it will allow me to upload. Upload image. This is where I will enter an avatar or an image of myself. Let's say this is the image that I wanted to add. Click on save changes and the picture will be uploaded. Now I can actually do more settings. We can change the size as well. If you want to increase the size a little bit, you can do that. So I'm going to, uh, you know, keep it to this one. Click on save changes and our section will be changed. Moving on, we have our brand name. So this is where you will enter your website name, your business name, any brand name if you are an influencer or you can use your own name as well. For an influencer, they will just add their name. Like so. For an influencer, you will just add your name here. Add multiple links for your page. So here you need to add a tagline. If you have any business, you will enter the tagline. Or for me, I'm just going to go with welcome and click on save changes so you can see it's very easy to use taplink and edit it then we have about me click here and this is where you will add an about me or a page and this is where you will enter the website that you have this is where you will add the page link now taplink allows you to create this one profile with all of the different links in one place this is an alternative for linktree and other platforms so here we have about me if you do not want to go with this link text you can go with something else and then we have what i do and this is where you will enter the action now if you want to enter an internal page you can select from here so in action we select what is going to be the action of the button if you want the button to take the viewers to a website you can select website if you want to if you want them to take to an internal page you can select that send email save contact go to a blog or send sms in my case i do have a an internal page so what we will do is we can go with either this one or a website so in website case what happens is i can even add a link of my social media or any other website so this is where you will enter the website click on save changes and your information will be saved Moving on, we have my blog. So if you think that you do not have any section here, you can change it and you can delete the section as well. For instance, I can delete this block and it will be, you know, deleted. Online store. If you have an online store, then you will simply go ahead and enter the uh, link for the online store. Um, if you have like a Shopify store, any other store. So this is where we add the link and then we have the contact me. 
Again, click on the block and it will allow you to edit. In contact me, we can add send email. Uh, again, call, SMS or save contact. So in my case, I'm going with send email and this is where you will enter your email address. You can also add a subject. So this is how you add all of the different pages to a link here. If you want to add a new block, click on add block from here and we can add a text block, avatar, FAQ, video, image cursor, media and text, socials, HTMLs, links and more. At this side of the screen, you can customize your, you know, different things. For instance, okay, I'm going to take the name at the top about me. Sorry, the welcome should be here. You can see it looks like this. So uh, this is how we simply edit. You can see I'm going to actually do this. Perfect. So this is my, you know, tap link, uh, you know, page that I just created. Now, once you're done with the editing, you can click on publish and your page will be published. So that's how easy it is to create your own page with tap link. Once you create the page, it will give you your own link so you can add in the bio. Click on publish. And here we have our own link for tap link. You can also add a username here. And we can also add a domain name. We also get a QR code. So this is for the link here. Click on connect and it will allow you to connect to your own website link. And this is the link that you will add. Now, after you have added a link into your bio, and if you want to check out these stats, you can check from this option right here at the top. Page views and comments will be shown here. Then we have leads. It also shows you all of the leads that you're generating, the payments, everything can be managed here. Then we have a design. So in design, again, I'll be able to change the color schemes. And these are all of the different templates and designs available for the page. Then we also have an add-on option, which is the integrations and add-ons that we want to add, such as our Facebook, TikTok, um, different social media, different uh, cookies and policies, um, Slack, different notification add-ons. So if you want to add them, you can add from here. Then we also have our settings. So in settings, you'll be able to do the basic settings for your page, for your HTML um, insertion and more. So using tap link is really easy and you can actually get a, a free trial for this one. You can get a basic plan. And if you want to change it, there is a pricing plan available. So let me quickly show you that. So the basic plan is going to be $0 and it's permanently free. There is a pro for just $3 per month and a business for six months, $6 per month. So you can see right here, this is the yearly planning. It's not that expensive, affordable platform to create your own customized link for your social media, for your business and more. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help and now you know how to use TapLink. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.